Welcome to Practical Research One. This is an asynchronous video lesson for senior high school. I am your teacher, Air. Rational, according to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, is an explanation of controlling principles of opinion, belief, practice, or phenomena. It is also an underlying reason or basis. Now, in the context of research writing, a rational pertains to the reasons why the study must be conducted. Such justification is provided by the researcher to highlight the significant points of the problem to be addressed in the study. Now that you already have a glimpse of what rational is, let us dig deeper on how it is used. Let's discuss further the rational of the study. As a Consider the following questions. Is there a need to conduct a study about your chosen research topic? Does it pose a significant research problem? Does it matter to your academic discipline? If your answers in the questions are yes, then that can be a good starting point for establishing the rationale of your study. Research justification is considered as the initial step in writing a research paper. This step involves the skill on how the researcher will provide the readers with critical background or contextual information that introduces the research topic. Moreover, it needs to indicate the reasons why the proposed research actually matters, and in doing so, the researcher must be able to get the audience's attention right from the introduction. How to write the rationale of the study. There are some considerations in writing the rationale of the study. First, the researcher needs to be acquainted with the existing literature on the research topic. He or she must present a background on what researches have already been done about the given subject. To effectively compose the rationale, the researcher must look for various sources that are related to the study and identify the gaps in the current literature. Research gaps refer to what is missing or what are the open questions of the study. These gaps in the literature pertain to problems, issues, or questions that have not been addressed or are yet to be understood. Moreover, it will be more reasonable to conduct research if there is an urgent need to solve the existing problem, and if it is relevant to either local or global context or both, people will more likely appreciate the study if they can relate to it and if they can somehow uh, benefit from the results of the study. Hence, all of these will truly help in establishing the need for the proposed study to be conducted. Dudovsky, in 2019, stressed that rational must be specific particularly on considering the following points. Number one, the research needs to contribute to the elimination of a gap in the literature. The researcher must fill in the identified research gap that the study seeks to address considering the existing literature. Therefore, it must present how the study will help in answering the research question and expanding knowledge about the research topic or subject. Number two, the research can be conducted to solve a specific problem. The researcher must explain in a detailed manner on how the study will help in solving a specific problem. And number three, the study has to contribute to the level of professional development of the researcher. The researcher must ensure that the study to be conducted will improve his or her personal capabilities related to life, career, or field of specialization. Therefore, it needs to highlight all practical benefits associated with the proposed solution. Here are some questions to be considered in presenting justifications. First bullet, why is this research important? Second bullet, what real life or everyday problem, issue or question does the research relate to? Third bullet, can people relate to the problem in local or global context? Fourth bullet, what benefit does the research promise? Fifth bullet, are the units of analysis and observation clearly identified? 
And the last bullet, what does the researcher hope to find out? Bethalic in 2019 highlighted that the validity of the research justification can be established in a number of ways. Here are some of them. First bullet, you can provide references. Second bullet, refer to a policy, press report, or other reputable information source. Third bullet, provide a detailed outline of the context, condition, concern, or situation. And last bullet, provide an anecdote or evidence from personal experience. And now let's read and study a sample rational of the study entitled Exploring Mobile Game Addiction, Cyberbullying and Its Effects on the Academic Performance Among Tertiary Students by Fabito et al. in 2018. Let's read on. Addiction and cyberbullying are two of the several ethical concerns arising from the use of mobile games. Candy Crush Saga as an example is a mobile social game, which had negative impacts as there were users who became addicted to the game. Mobile games are casual games that can be played on smartphones. Typically, mobile games are played in a short period of time, in contrast to PC and console games. The mobility and the wireless connectivity of smartphones allow users to play mobile games wherever and whenever they like. With the advancement of mobile technologies, graphics, and the mobile gaming experience itself, there are studies that show that users are able to play more than what is expected. In iOS and Android, games are the number one app category that is downloaded from both platforms. Second paragraph. Mobile gaming addiction is a growing concern that increases the user's risk for physical and psychological health problems. The strong attachment to mobile games may interfere with school and work-related activities and can damage family life. Video game addiction is part of the so-called Internet Gaming Disorder, or ITT, and is often associated with gambling addiction. Gambling addiction is compared to mobile game addiction as both are impulse control disorders. Both addiction seemingly affects the brain's dopamine level which keeps the users from coming back for more. Additionally, in general, ITT has also been linked to a poor academic performance of students in educational institutions. However, in a study conducted by Sama and Howie in 2016, a smartphone addiction revealed that there is no relationship between smartphone addiction risk and academic performance. Here's another sample of rational of the study for you to have a simpler idea on how to make one. It is labeled with the components that you need to include in justifying the reasons for conducting your proposed study. You can use this as a guide in composing your write-up for your own rationale. The title is Effects of Animal Manure and Rice Haze to the Growth of Banana by Katuan on 2020. Rational of the study. The first paragraph includes write-ups on existing literature. Let's read on. Bananas are the most popular fruit in the world. The banana is, in fact, not a tree, but a high herb that grows up to 15 meters. It is believed that there are almost 1,000 varieties of bananas in the world, subdivided in 50 groups. The most commonly known banana is the Cavendish variety, which is the one produced for export materials, or markets, rather. The second paragraph includes write-ups on relevance to local and global context. Let's read. Bananas are grown in more than 150 countries, producing 105 million tons of fruit per year. The bananas grown for local consumption are generally grown in traditional, extensive systems. Locally consumed bananas, which are a staple food in many tropical countries, play a major role in terms of food security. Next paragraph. And now let's read the third paragraph, which includes the critical background and contextual information. Bananas are suspected to be the first fruit in the earth by some horticulturists. Their origin is placed in Southeast Asia, in the jungles of Malaysia, Indonesia, or Philippines, where many varieties of wild bananas still grow today. 
Africans are credited to have given the press a name since the word banana would be derived from the Arab for finger. Now, the next paragraph shows the research gap. So in the quest of good harvest, even stronger, more harmful fertilizers and pesticides need to be applied. In several countries, plantation owners spend more money on agrochemicals than on their workforce. And the last part of this paragraph shows the urgent need to solve the problem. So it says that fertilizers and pesticides pollute water channels resulting in fish kills and the destruction of other aquatic life including coral reefs. Carelessly stored chemicals seep into the soil and water courses. Here's the research goal and objective, also a part of the rationale of the study. Thus, this study aims to find out the effects of the two variants of fertilizers such as animal manure and rice haze to the growth of banana. This study intends to determine the effects of animal manure and rice haze to the growth of banana. Now that you already have an idea on what the rationale of the study is, let's have activity number three. Read and analyze the following research topics. Provide at least three possible reasons why each study must be conducted. You may support your answer by citing researched information from reputable sources. Number one, depression. Number two, coronavirus disease or COVID-19. And number three, unemployment. I'm giving you 30 minutes to do activity number three. If you are done with activity number three, let's answer this assessment. Read and analyze the following statements about rational of the study. Write facts if it is true and bluff if it is false. Number one, rational pertains to the reasons for conducting the study. What's your answer? The answer is fact. Number two, the researcher may consider what was wrong or incomplete about prior efforts conducted on the same problem. The answer is fact. Very good. Number three, the proposed study can still be conducted even if there are already sufficient solutions to the given problem. The answer is bluff. Number four, providing justifications does not require reasoning skills and processes. What's your answer? The answer is bluff. Number five, the researcher needs to emphasize why his or her study matters. What's your answer? The answer is fact. Very good. At this point, you are heading your way on writing the contents of your research paper. Answer this assignment. Number one, start drafting your rational by supplying the necessary information in the given template. Write a research topic. Write your research title. Why is your research important? What real life or everyday problem, issue or question does your research hope to address? How does it relate to local or global context? What is your research eventually trying to achieve? And number two, compose your draft for a simple rational of your proposed study by using the information you provided in number one. Any questions or clarifications? Feel free to contact me through email. My email is ria.novelga001 at deped.gov.ph. You can contact me between 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thanks for watching everyone! This is Teacher Air of Education Channel and I hope you have learned something today. Subscribe now!